What's up guys, it's Ivan and today we are going to review a successful statement of purpose for the MD-PhD program at the University of California, San Diego. Before we read the statement of purpose, I do want to give you some background information on how MD-PhD program applications work, at least based on my understanding. So based on the MD-PhD program application at the University of California, San Diego, they ask the applicant to submit three different essays. One of them is a personal statement and that's to the general medical school application, general application. So every student that's applying to an MD program does have to submit a personal statement or a series of short answers that make up their personal statement for application to medical school. The second phase of this application process is submitting your application to certain schools and those schools sometimes do have additional requirements. So for the University of California, San Diego, they ask the applicants to submit two additional statements. One of them is a research experience statement and the other one is a statement of purpose which we're going to read today and the reason why they ask you for these different statements is because obviously the MD the medical school track is more specialized to practice medicine while the PhD part of the MD PhD is more theoretical research based and so they want to know that you have obviously the practical experiences the drive to be a doctor but also the research experience and the reasons why you also want to pursue a PhD that is in the field of of medicine. The attraction to neuroscience that I developed through my research experiences potentiated my excitement I felt contributing to the growth of scientific knowledge ignited my desire to become a physician scientist. I now recognize how gaps in scientific knowledge can hinder a physician's ability to optimally treat patients suffering from complex neurological disorders. I view my prospective career as a vehicle to better understand the neurological disease mechanisms, eventually using this knowledge to develop tools to alleviate patient affliction in the clinic. For the MD-PhD application, these statements are going to be really short, probably in the range of 500 to 700 words. So it's really important for you as an applicant to get right to the point in the introduction, right? So we know off the bat in this introductory paragraph for the statement of purpose that this applicant is interested in neuroscience as their PhD specialty, right? So we know they want to become a doctor through their MD application, but now we know what specialty they want to want to commit to as a doctor. So we know right here the applicant sets the stage really well. They are describing what interested them in neuroscience and what they want to potentially explore with research and practice in the neuroscience space. And so they want to become a physician scientist and they want to explore different elements of neuroscience. So they say here that they want to learn how to optimally treat patients suffering from complex neurological disorders. And they want to use that as a vehicle to better understand neurological disease mechanisms to eventually learn how to develop tools to alleviate patients affliction in the clinics and so we know a couple of things just based off this short introductory paragraph so we know their career goal which is physician scientists we know that they want to study complex neurological disorders and we know that they want to develop tools to alleviate patients afflictions in the clinic so I want you to be that specific when you're introducing yourself your interests and your goals in the introduction to a statement of purpose I was first exposed to research during a summer internship in the Mellon Lab at UCF. I learned how science progress germinates from the publication and reading of primary scientific literature and how this acquired knowledge is then used to develop further scientific questions. This endless pursuit for the expansion of human understanding piqued my curiosity at its core. However, a personal event was the deciding factor in steering my career goals towards using research to understand and develop therapies to treat neurological diseases. In this next paragraph, we learn a little bit about the applicant and their research experiences. Again, a PhD program is a research degree, so you want to make sure you do tell them how you have developed your understanding of the research process. So this applicant talked briefly about how they were a part of a summer internship in the Mellon Lab at University of California, San Francisco. And so again, here they are very specific to their experience. So we learn what the name of the lab was 
Palace, which is Melon Lab. And we learned that it was at the University of California, San Francisco. So you want to make sure you are descriptive of where you conducted your research and you named drop these institutions and the name of the lab. And then we learned a little bit about what they gained from that experience. So we learned that they gained some experience with publication, with reading scientific literature, and this experience led them to why they wanted to become a MD, PhD student, but also why they want to become a physician scientist. And so they talk about how that this piqued their curiosity. And I expect as a reader for the next paragraph to talk about the personal experience that they allude to in this paragraph. Something else that I want you to understand here, they did pretty well, is that they again reiterated their career goal. So they want to use research to understand and develop therapies to treat neurological diseases. And so by then saying that they want to use research, that closely ties their application and their mission to why they want to apply to an MD PhD program and not just an MD program. During my junior year, I experienced a mild head injury that resulted in frequent headaches. Alarm quickly turned into curiosity. Doctors assured me this was not a serious head injury. While this alleviated my immediate concerns, my curiosity reared its head. Why did these headaches develop if there was no visible damage? This was a transformative event for me. Not only did I become interested in learning how head injuries affect the nervous system, but I also experienced firsthand how gaps of knowledge can affect clinical care. Therefore, I intend to dedicate my career to translational neuroscience research. In this paragraph, the applicant relates a personal experience to their career goals. So they talk about briefly how they experienced a mild head injury and how that led them to be curious about questions that might not be filled by research in this space, right? So they talk about how they started questioning why headaches developed if there was no visible damage. So they start sharing with the committee some of the questions they might want to explore as an MD PhD student and it gives the committee an idea of what their research topics, agendas, dissertations might be because they are talking about the curiosities that they have with their personal experiences. Then they also state which gaps in the literature they want to fill. So here we see that they want to fill the gap of knowledge and how that can affect clinical care. And so that again ties in with their career goals that they mentioned earlier on in the statement of purpose. Then again at the end, they reiterate their career goal. So they say that they want to dedicate their career to translational neuroscience research in addition to being a medical doctor, right? So they again reiterate what they want to do with an MD, PhD. Witnessing the suffering of patients with neurological disorders in my neuroscience classes triggered in me a hopelessness that vanished when I stepped into the lab. Here I was not so powerless to help. I relished in knowing that my basic science work on traumatic brain injury and epilepsy in the Koffer lab would lead to a better understanding of disease progression, ultimately improving the physical and emotional quality of patients' lives. Similarly, learning about genetic basis of neurodegenerative diseases in the Lee lab empowered me. I felt ecstatic knowing that through participating in the initial stages of drug discovery, I was part of the scientific community's push forward for the development of novel therapies. In this paragraph, they start to bridge their research experiences with their career goals, again, similar to the previous paragraphs. So they, they discuss how participation in research labs led them to realize what their career might look like. So they talk about how in the Koffer lab, they learned a little bit more about traumatic brain injury and epilepsy and how that affects physical and emotional well-being of patients. Then in the Lee lab, they were empowered because they were were contributing to the early stages of drug discovery, which is what they really want to do. They, again, they want to push forward the development of novel therapies. So they're showing the committee that they're already doing some type of work towards that goal. And this is through the way of participating in different research labs that are at the beginning stages of drug development that they want to, you know, continue to pursue as a grad student, as an MD, PhD student. As a physician scientist, I want to continue investigating how malfunctions of the nervous system give rise to neurological diseases and ultimately apply this knowledge to improve patient treatment at bedside. The MD PhD training track will equip me with the necessary skills to achieve this because I see medicine and science not as separate entities that demand separate careers but rather as complements for one that will allow me to both ask and answer questions inside and outside of the clinic. In their concluding paragraph they do a couple of things really well. So the first thing that they do is that they ex 
explain why they want to be in an MD PhD program, right? So they talk about how they want to further investigate how the malfunctions of the nervous system give rise to neurological diseases and how you can apply this knowledge to improve patient treatment at bedside. So you see how detailed they are in explaining what they potentially want to investigate as an MD PhD student and what their research might look like. Although they don't mention which faculty they want to work with, they do explain a broader research topic that will allow them to explore different research labs because maybe this program has a plethora of labs in the neuroscience department. Then they also state what the MD PhD track will provide to them. And I really liked how they emphasize the need to do both degrees, that they see medicine and science not as separate entities and demand separate careers, right? So they are stating here, here's why I need to be in an MD PhD program and not just an MD program by itself or a PhD program by itself, that they envision a career as a physician scientist as two that come together, you can't have them separate. And so I really like that about this paragraph here because it's saying again, here's why I need to be in your program and here's why the MD PhD track is right for me and my career goals. And to tie to the practice side of this, they also mention the research part of it. So they say that they want to continue to conduct research so they can apply both in the academic world but also in the clinics. And so they again, they bridge the gaps between why an MD PhD program is the right fit for them versus the MD and the PhD program separately. I hope me reading the statement of purpose really helped you develop your statement of purpose for graduate school, whether it's an MD PhD program or a separate program. If you are interested in getting support from me on your statement of purpose, click the link down below if you want support from me for your statement of purpose. I do offer a statement of purpose review service on the freelance platform called Fiverr, where I will help you construct a competitive statement of purpose for graduate school. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.